What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to implement an amazing analytics tool on your website called Hotjar. Hotjar is an analytics tool that's so much more than just basic Google Analytics. This is actually gonna create live heat maps and let you know where users are looking, how they're clicking, how far they're scrolling. I'm gonna use all of these tools that Hotjar has to offer to improve my personal website and make it a better experience for my users. Okay, I'm here at hotjar.com. I've created my account, I've logged in, I've set up some heat maps, and I've actually gone ahead and taken the tracking code for Hotjar, and I embedded it into my website here on Webflow a while ago so that I could start tracking my heat maps. Uh, once I'm here on my dashboard, I can run over to the heat maps, the recordings, or I can get some interesting feedback like incoming feedback or surveys from people that are browsing my website. I'm gonna jump over to the heat map section. I'm gonna start there. Okay, I've clicked into the heat map section and you can see that I'm currently using what's called continuous heat maps. I can switch over, I want back to manual heat maps to get a little bit of out of control, but the continuous heat maps are great because they'll just continuously keep gathering information from all of my users. You can see we have a couple of different heat maps set up, one for my homepage, my freebie page, my newsletter, I have a links page um, and a couple of different pages there. And we can view each one of these individual heat maps, which is, Pretty cool, let's actually head over and view this heat map and we get a couple of options. You'll notice that my website looks a little bit weird. There's really nothing on the page because mine has a gradual load of all of the elements depending on how far down the user has scrolled. Hotjar is still figuring out how to make those things happen but I can still see areas where people have clicked on. Now to make this a little bit easier to understand, I'm gonna switch back and forth between another browser and I'll be able to understand a little bit more where people are clicking. You can see a real hot spot here with 39 clicks, 10 clicks, so on and so forth. Lots of clicking happening here is for the menu that's here in the top right of my website. But you'll also see there's some pretty hot spots over here on the left hand side. Where are those coming from? They are coming from all of the different navigation elements that I actually have on the left hand side of my website, to my store, to my different social media platforms. So people are clicking on those as well. But interestingly enough, I'm getting some clicking here, like in on the kind of inside where this, where this uh, kind of like main headline is. Now, some people might actually just kind of click around as they're viewing. It's not a lot of clicks, but it is something to take note. I'm wondering in my mind, are people thinking this is a clickable area? As we scroll down on my website, you'll see the next thing is a bunch of social proof or testimonies from previous clients. And you can scroll through these by hitting the left or right arrow. Now you'll see there's a huge hotspot over here to the right, that's most likely the right hand arrow. It shows me that barely anybody is clicking the left hand, they just tend to cycle through to the right. That's interesting. As we scroll down, there's some clicking that's happening on these logos of brands that I've worked with. Maybe people think that that'll bring up a project, so maybe that's something for me to think about as well, actually. And then as I scroll down even more, you'll see there's not a lot of clicking happening here, which that next section is actually like a kind of link to my next upcoming live stream, so nobody's really clicking it. So that's kind of interesting. And then down here, I have some ways to help creatives grow. Um, okay, so it shows me that people are not too interested in this. Now, here's what's really interesting. I can look at clicks, but I can actually see the way that people are moving their mouse along in my website. There's a lot of movement over here, a lot of movement up there. Again, those are my testimonials that are there. And maybe a little bit of clicking on those icons. Remember, our icons were directly underneath our testimonials. Just some random movement, but then a lot of movement as we go a little further down. Um, and even further down. So we're seeing a lot of interest in case studies and work, and actually in these, and not a lot of interest in my live streaming section. So that maybe that's something I need to kind of change. Maybe I need to move that live streaming section down. Now, here's another interesting thing about Hotjar. We can jump over and see the scroll measurement. And so it's actually gonna tell us where the average fold is, quote unquote, above the fold. And then we get this kind of like, measurement so 93 percent of users reach this point 90 percent of users reach this point and so on and so forth we go 86 percent and the further down they go so actually it's making me think about my website in a way that maybe i haven't before what's most important to me about my website well right now it's kind of 
getting people to my YouTube channel, mentorship sessions, or my online courses. So I think I definitely need to move this up above because when you scroll down here, they're viewing my testimonials and that's great, but I'm not doing as much client work lately. That's not what I'm really trying to attract right now. Um, and I have been getting a lot of inquiries and maybe the reason I'm getting a lot of inquiries is because this testimonial section is so high. And if less and less people are scrolling down to see important things like this for me, then I'm probably gonna wanna lift those elements up, I think. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Why don't we really quickly look at another piece of analytic that might really help me to confirm this idea that I have of people not scrolling down far enough to get to this help creatives learn and grow section. I'm gonna hit the recording uh, tab over here in Hotjar and I, I have legitimate recordings that are anonymous. I don't get the user's information and if they're gonna plug in any sort of information when they were typing, I'm not gonna see any of that. So Hotjar's basically gonna remove all of the numbers, um, any sort of numbers out of their, um, their recording. I'm gonna go ahead and press play on this recording and see what this user was looking at when they were checking out my website. All right, so they're obviously viewing this on some sort of tablet uh, or maybe just a smaller browser. That's interesting, okay. They're hovering over my image. This is interesting, okay. So this is where some of that movement's coming from. They opened up my navigation. They're looking for my free design resources. I'm showing them some free design resources. Now, this is what's interesting is my design resources are there. They're, there's a bunch of freebies there and I want people to see those, but I actually, I have some of my paid resources there as well. So maybe I should say design resources and then put my stuff at the top first. That might be maybe something I need to do. Um, let's go down and find another one. This one, I'm looking for people who've gone to multiple pages. They went to my homepage and freebies, okay? So I like seeing that flow of, of what people looked at. Let's open up one more. Okay, so we got a full desktop. They're on Windows Chrome. They open up the navigation immediately and they go to my free design resources. Okay, so this is a big selling point for people. And I'm wondering if it would be bad for me to say free design resources or if I should just change it to something like store. Okay, so they're clicking on some things. See, they're kind of stopped here and I want them to keep scrolling down my paid resources or my premium resources. Let's fast forward a little bit. It says the user was inactive. So maybe they actually clicked and they went out to see that element. Uh, um, Hotjar is not gonna show you the other pages they opened up. And then it gets down to my free resources, which they completely skipped over. And then they saw like some live streams. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that tells me what we might wanna do a little bit of, a little bit of work. Let's do one more and just see this person is looking at it on the mobile, which is kind of an interesting thing to see. Okay, so they're scrolling down. They're reading the testimonials. Okay, and then they opened up something. Okay. I'm gonna scroll down and see the brands that I've worked with. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There is my live stream. Help creatives learn and grow. This is the section I really want them to get to, remember, and I'm not doing a good job of getting them there. So that's something I'm definitely taking away from my session here. I actually see all the areas that they've clicked in here also. So in here, the user was inactive. That means they clicked on one of these elements, doesn't it? probably looking at online courses now. So maybe somewhere around, yeah, 105. Latest works, latest works, products, div container. Yep, it shows you all the areas they clicked. They're looking at my latest works, okay, interesting. And they're probably clicking on each one of these. They are definitely clicking on each one of these, right? They're clicking on the case studies. They're clicking on the latest works. Lots of clicks. Okay, so here's what I'm here's what I'm realizing from this is 
that people are wanting to see more about my work. So I really, I need to get my case studies finished. I need to get those up. I'm not gonna be able to get those up today, but they definitely are looking for those things. Um, I think this is my newsletter that's popping up. Yep. And then over to my free resources. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Okay, with that being said, let's jump over to Webflow. Let's make a few changes here, shall we? Because this has been pretty enlightening, I think. Um, I think one of the biggest things is they're seeing companies that I've worked with, and that's great, but I think that I need to bring this section up above just a little bit. Okay, so we've done that. Um, we have kind of repositioned the things that are actually important here at the top. I think that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna double click here on this thing, and I'm gonna open up my menu, and I think I should call this not free design resources, but let's call this design resources. I think something like that will work. Um, and with that said, I'm gonna publish these changes and make them go live right now. I'm gonna head back over to the live site, refresh, and sure enough, we've made those changes exactly what we wanted. Okay. And then let's change this over to design resources. Perfect. All right, well, that's it. I think that's super interesting, and I think these changes are gonna make a big difference. If you wanna try out Hotjar, make sure you check the link down in the description. I highly recommend even just giving it a try because I think it's a really, really cool tool. If you have any questions about Hotjar or today's video, please leave those down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and websites just like this one. So make sure that you stick around, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, that little bell notification icon, all that stuff, and hang out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're making changes that improve your websites and your products that are backed with data. I'll see you in the next one.